Hey what's up you guys, it's Sunny Ovi and I'm here to do a reading on Mr. Nipsey Hussle. Disclaimer, I do not know much about this male. I did not listen to his music. Uh, the first time I saw him was actually on an episode of um, Black Ink Chicago where um, Charmaine was interviewing him and like this uh radio on this radio station and um i know he dated lauren london um but other than that i don't know anything about him really interesting thing with this reading a lot of people want me to read uh for celebrities that are dead or alive and i ask spirit should i read for this person and if i hear a no i'll tell the person spirit doesn't want me to read for them but when I asked this uh, angels, should I read for Nipsey Hussle, I didn't get a no. And so I told the angels, all right, so if it's good for me to read for him, please allow for me to dream of him that night or the next night. This was a couple days ago. And that night I dreamt of Nipsey and he was actually in a spirit guide of mine's house, my Nana. So I thought that was really interesting. So yeah, I'm about to look up his date of birth really quick. Hmm, he's a Leo. I low-key saw him being like I I felt that he was either like a Scorpio or a Gemini. There was another sign, but I can't remember. Um, there's a possibility of him having those signs in this chart. But let's um, see what's going on with Mr. Nipsey Hussle. Let's see. Okay. I want to respect him and call him by his first name. I don't know why. He's at peace, is what I'm hearing. Like, he's saying, job well done. Job well done. He knew his time was coming. I feel like, um... He was a private person or people saw him as private. Like there's a possibility of him not talking much about himself. Um, or like he was misread. I keep picking up like misread. Yes, he, there may be, um, I'm not sure if he had problems with aggression. He was younger or like if he saw a lot of this growing up. Oh yeah, and I I think he was a gang member. I think I don't know, honey. If if I'm getting this wrong, I'm sorry. But um, I keep picking up like aggression, like going about manhood in the wrong way, is what he's showing me. He really loved Lauren. He loved her a lot. But he's saying, I wish I would have treated her better. Yeah, to the human eye, he treated her like a goddess. But he really wished he would have treated her better. He's saying, um, he, he knows that she's going to suffer financially. He's saying something about out of wedlock. I don't know if they were married. He's saying, I'm sorry for all the wild nights and being promiscuous. But he, he did change. Like he's saying like, I improved on that. He's venting like, 
he's looking back at his life and he's like you know um, he's he's saying like there's some things that I wish I would have done differently he's like I'm a man of my word now I'm a man of my word now He's saying all is forgiven or he he got the green light of maybe his divine God and his divine God his divine okay he wants me to say divine God um, sticking with God he his God said all is forgiven like it's it's okay it's okay now but he's talking about like he he knows that she's sad that he's gone but I don't know if she had connections to his assets or if it's going to be hard for her to get them he's talking about name on the dotted line I don't know if she signed if she was allowed to sign his stuff or he's telling me that they weren't married yet like they're like it wasn't fully committed He's like, I, I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying not being locked down. Because he did have a fear of intimacy. Like, he, he, he had a fear of true commitment. He was afraid of her doing the same thing to him. Like... If he were to marry her, he was afraid of her cheating. Like, you know how, like, sometimes when people get married, like, things change? Like, he was afraid of that happening. Because he, he slowly, she loved him. But he slow, he slowly saw her getting frustrated. Kind of, like, giving up. Like, questioning. Like, okay, is this really worth it? I love him. I do. He's he's changing. He's improving. But you know what? What am I really supposed to do in this? And I keep getting like pressure. I don't know if if they were pressured. Like, oh, are you gonna get married? Are you gonna have more kids? Like, I don't know. Like, there was like pressure, pressure, pressure. But he's saying pressure makes a diamond, right? <laughs> know if um Lauren suffers from any female problems like if she can't have kids and she got her tubes tied or if like she has heavy periods or if she has cramping um he's talking about that like her womanly space like something isn't really fully right and he wants her to get that checked out I don't know if she has um ovarian cysts, uh, fibroids, but he, he wants her to get that checked out. He still wants his business to move forward because he's showing me the key and I'm getting this energy of like to, to his domain, like to his business. Like he still wants that to flourish regardless of how it flourishes. He still wants to keep that there. Um, he knew his he knew it was his time to go he accepted his death he saw it coming death kept knocking at my door it kept knocking at my door for several years but I wanted to do it right I wanted to do it right he was privileged enough to cheat death. But this was the last straw. He wanted to do good for mankind before he left. Oh, I know he was uh, trying to get the word out about a particular doctor. Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi, however you pronounce it. Um, and he... He knew as a little boy 
that he was going to die as a good man even if people didn't see it he knew he knew that he was going to die fairly young he saw that he was humble to a degree but he's like you gotta be cocky right you know just just a little bit just to <laughs> just to shine on him is what he's saying but he's saying I, I cleaned up my act a lot I cleaned it up a lot someone is still waiting for him to come home I don't know if it's his children or if like someone around him is still in disbelief his energy is saying for a couple of days I I was still on earth but it, it was like he was trying to console people like he wasn't confused when he died because some some spirits are earthborn spirits and they don't want to pass over they don't understand why they died you know like they aren't really ready but I feel like his spirit was ready because as Mr. Nipsey Hussle it's like he done what he was supposed to do in, in this lifetime and he, he stayed on earth for a few days to you know like give off his presence like hey I'm fine I'm good don't worry about me you know like keep keep my legacy promote it like keep keep me alive keep my name alive that's all I ask but I'm getting like his soul is like up and when I get this feeling it, it lets me know that like he's he's fine like he's already in another afterlife is what I'm picking up to be quite honest with you he keeps saying my job is done all I wanted was to get the word out all I wanted was to die a good man that's all I wanted but he keeps saying I am ashamed of you know some of my actions I am I'm ashamed but what what can I do about it you know I, I can't <laughs> I can't jump back into my body now he's funny he's he's funny um i feel like uh there isn't going to be for the time being he's saying for a, about six or seven months there isn't going to be any um violence there isn't going to be any violence it's like a retreat things are going to be silent for a little bit the community is going to be silent but he really wants everyone to respect the hustle. Put your mind to things and you will succeed. He's telling me sacrifice and being crucified is real just because you didn't die on the cross doesn't mean that you didn't get crucified it's like he he low-key crucified himself like he he gave up not in a bad way but like he knew that if he was to cheat death again that's what he's telling me his true message would not have gotten out and people would have low-key just blew it off but he's like i had to die to be somebody He's, he was already somebody. It's like if people don't... Because slow-minded people ain't going to get that. He had to die for people to feel life again. Life after death. He gave a lot of people life. Is what he's saying. He gave life to the truth. I'm hearing of African-American bodies. He gave life to reincarnation. He gave life to health. He gave life to knowledge is what he's saying. And he's like, I'm you know, I'm not saying I started it. I just sparked it back up again. And we can all spark it back up again is what he's saying. I don't 
know if someone's going to make a movie. I know he um he w wanted to do a documentary, like I stated previously, but I don't know if someone's going to do a movie on him, like Lifetime or BET type of movie. I definitely see this happening. Um, maybe like some of you may hear something by October about a Lifetime or BET movie in regards to like Nipsey Hussle's life or um, something that he was doing behind the scenes. But I feel like it's something other than the documentary of um, that Dr. Sebi or Sabai. It's something, it's something in regards to his life, Mr. Nipsey's life, is what I'm picking up. He's very short and brief. Like, he's like, I don't want to stay here too long. He's like, no disrespect, I don't want to stay here too long. He's, he's very short, and that's absolutely fine with me, to be honest. Um... He's very he's a very sweet man. He's like I respect what you do. I respect what you do. And that means a lot to me. Thank you, sir. But he once again he is worried about London. He's like my kids my kids are straight, like they're fine, but he's he's just worried about her. And he's just worried about her. Yeah, but that's all. Uh, yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. So I know this was kind of short, <laughs> and like I said, he's a man of short words. Um, he's ready to go, and I don't want to keep him here much longer. So once again, thank you for coming through. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in another one. Take care. Bye. -bye.